Hello, it's Jimmy here. Everybody's looking at a Vauxhall Vivaro, but it is basically a Peugeot Export or Citroen Dispatch. So this is the two-liter engine version. As you can see under there, it's had new knock sensors. It's had the DPF removed. That's the DPF there. If we come back inside, I'll show you how I've diagnosed this. Okay, so this vehicle has been to a garage. Uh, same story basically, it's been months ongoing trying to get this issue resolved. They've replaced, uh, I think, DPF sensor, the NOx sensors. They've also replaced a few different bits and pieces. It's been to DPF specialists, they've removed the DPF, cleaned it, put it back on, but it lasts about a half an hour before the engine light comes back on. So basically they've got tired of chucking parts on it and they've just come and asked me to diagnose it it's taken me less than a minute to diagnose this and uh, I can show you what I'm looking what I'm looking at um, so just just a basic little bit of knowledge is all it takes and um, just show you the difference between spending months on a vehicle and chucking I think it's had like two, two grand chucked out of it in parts and cleans and whatever so a little bit of knowledge yeah and I'm sharing it with you today um, and you can probably a little, have a little guess there you can see my finger already where I've had a look so it's got a P20EE depollution of the Dinox system and then it's got particle filter clogged okay so I'm gonna tell you what's happening so the DPF itself is damaged and the soot is now so you say say this is your DPF here this is your DPF you got your soot flowing in it should capture it and it's not capturing it so it's getting past the DPF into your catalyst here and it's covering the catalyst in this black soot so that is making the catalyst effectiveness void basically it's not working because it's covered in soot uh, and then you're getting the catalyst efficiency code pop up which then inhibits the vehicle able to regen and then you get a block DPF so if you understand what's happening soot coming past the DPF it's blocking up the catalyst the catalyst then reads that it's not working the knock sensors this is why they're replacing knock sensors um, and then once that's not working the van will go into sort of a limp mode then your DPF doesn't regenerate and then you get a block DPF and the way I confirm that is by rubbing my finger here on the exhaust tip and you can see so you can see you should not have any of that black soot in a Euro 6 vehicle that should not be there so the DPF soot is coming past it's then coating the catalyst like I said in this black soot then your catalyst efficiency just isn't doing its job so long story short it doesn't need any sensors it doesn't need a knock sensor it doesn't need and it's had the ad blue tank removed as well as the pad fluid tank as well I think um, so it doesn't need any of those parts long story short it needs a DPF and catalyst replaced they're both joined into the one can uh, canister on these, so that's what it needs to fix it. Um, what I will say is, there is no permanent fix for these. It, the vehicle has done 40,000 40, miles. These are the spanner lights you got on there. So what I always say to people is, you know, even a lot of get a lot of customers coming with these Audis as well, and they say, well, it's lasted 80,000 miles, so if I put a new one on and last another 80,000 miles, I'll, I'll be generally happy. This one has lasted 40 odd thousand miles. A replacement isn't gonna last as long because the vehicle is now older, it's creating more soot. The vehicle isn't running like brand new, so the, the new DPF isn't gonna last as long. And nine times out of 10 people are gonna put an aftermarket DPF on, which doesn't really work as well anyway. So yeah, that's uh, that's the circle of the Euro 6 DPF life. You're probably gonna put a new one on this. Next year, probably need another one. So that's it. See you on our next video.